I'm just going to take that same piece of chalk. I'm going to go down from where the seam is, and I'm going to make me a little line. Okay? Now, it's important that when you do this, you have it adjusted properly. I've got the waist strap exactly the tightness I want it. I've got the crotch strap the same tightness I want it. I've got the shoulder straps tightened as well on it. Because one of the problems we have is if we put it on, we get it adjusted, we'll kind of move some D-rings, and then if we put it on again and we don't get it quite adjusted the way it needs to be, those lines can be off. So with it adjusted where it is, I'm just going to run my fingers down the seam of my shirt. I'm going to find there on the harness where the seam is, and I'm just going to mark it straight up and down with the chalk, just like that. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can do with just a little bitty piece of white chalk. If you're having trouble adjusting, say, a backplate wing or a side mount harness or any type of harness in scuba where you've got to slide D-rings around. And this trick you can actually use if you're by yourself versus doing this with a buddy. Now, I've got me a brand new harness. It's nothing new. It's actually just the 22 pound bladder from the Mares XR line. This is their side mount pure system. You guys have seen me dive the 34 system. Well, this is the 22 and this is what I'm gonna start using say for single tank side mount and when I do a lot of out of country travel because it's gonna be a lot less weight. However, I'm trying to get this thing set up and I wanna get the D-rings just right. So I'm gonna show you a neat little trick that you can use to chalk so that you can only adjust it once versus having to constantly take this thing on and off. So guys, this is a super simple trick that you can do when you don't have a dive buddy. All you do is simply take your piece of chalk and then you can mark the harness exactly where you want it. The prime example here, let's say I want my D-rings placed exactly with my arms out where I bring my thumbs in and I can touch them. I notice this one's a little bit low, this one's just right. All I've got to do is take the chalk and I'm going to mark the harness like that. Now I know I can only get, move this one maybe a quarter of an inch and it's going to be just right. Same thing here on the sides. If you notice where my side mount rings are here on the side, this one's going to be a little bit far forward. My back D ring is, I want to bring it back just a little bit. And typically when I set up a back plate wing or something, I try to go with the seam of my shirt. So we can see where the seam of the shirt is. I'm just going to take that same piece of chalk. I'm going to go down from where the seam is and I'm going to make me a little line. Okay. Now, it's important that when you do this, you have it adjusted properly. I've got the waist strap exactly the tightness I want it. I've got the crotch strap the same tightness I want it. I've got the shoulder straps tightened as well on it. Because one of the problems we have is if we put it on, we get it adjusted, we'll kind of move some D-rings, and then if we put it on again and we don't get it quite adjusted the way it needs to be, those lines can be off. So with it adjusted where it is, I'm just going to run my fingers down the seam of my shirt. I'm going to find there on the harness where the seam is and I'm just gonna mark it straight up and down with the chalk, just like that. Now I know that when I take it off, I can move those D-rings exactly where they need to be to make it adjusted right. So it's a neat little trick that you can do with a piece of chalk if you don't have a dive buddy to help you adjust your harness. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you found it helpful, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it. If you got any questions about how to size a, a backplate wing or a harness system or any and all of the above, drop me a comment down below. We've got plenty of videos showing you how to attach D-rings, how to adjust it, how to make sure it's the right height and all that for you. And hopefully those videos will help you out as well, but let me know and I'll be happy to send you those links. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off today. Take care, God bless and I'll see you in the next video.